So what we're going to do to see the entire list is use a command called ps ox. And this is going to, this is not real time, so this captures it at the time that you run that command. But you can see the list is quite a bit larger and we can go through and look uh, for applications that we want to see. Uh, but this can get a little, uh, you know, convoluted just because of how large this list can be. So I'm going to run Theory Browser here. And when it opens, this is now a process that is running. So I can find any Leary browser processes by typing ps space aux, and we can pipe that over to the command grep, and we can look for Leary browser. And this is going to search for all processes that have Leary browser anywhere in it. So the name of the command or the file path of the command, uh, it doesn't matter. It's going to find it based on that name. Now that's pretty neat. It gives us uh, a few things. It gives us the process ID and the time running and the command and stuff like that. And it also gives the time uh, that it was run. So we could use this process ID to manage uh, whether this app is running or not, but let's say we've got a few instances running. So now I have three processes for the Leary browser. So what happens when I run the previous command? It's uh, messy. <laughs> Uh, you could read through this, and uh, if you want to, but if you're just if you just want to have a quick look at it, this is not the command. If you want to get the process IDs of an application, you can use the pgrep command and type in Leary Browser, and this is going to return three process IDs because we've got three processes running. The order of these process IDs is chronological. So the top one here, 6186, that's the first window I launched, which is this one. And I'm going to type first right here. This would be the second one, which would be this one. So this is second window. And then the third one we're going to put over here. And we're going to do that so that we can... Uh, I can show you how you can identify processes based on chronological order if you know the order in which uh, certain things were opened. I did because it's uh, I only ran three, three instances of it and the way that they opened they told me which ones were on top and so I could see uh, the order of them. So let's say I wanted to close the second window. I can use a command called kill. So I'll type kill and then dash nine and then the process ID. So in this case, it's going to be the second one, which is 6300. So if I type 6300 and hit enter, it kills that instance. So if I run pgrep on Leary Browser again, it's now just going to show me the other two. Now, you can kill apps uh, like this. Uh, 63, sorry, 6186 and then another process ID 6358. We can run that, and it's going to kill all those processes. Now that's pretty neat, but let's say that you've got a few instances running, and you don't want to type the process IDs for each one. If I type pgrep Larry Browser, this is going to return four process IDs. Now, in the pgrep command, uh, the application is pgrep, and then the second parameter that it takes is the command that's run. So it's the same when we run top, we'll see under command, Leary browser right here. So we can, we can see that's the command, and if I was running it from uh, terminal, uh, it would be uh, slash opt slash Leary, uh, Leary browser, something like that. And then the resulting command would be Leary-browser. That's the actual binary file that's running. So what we can do, rather than uh, closing them by process ID, 
which we can get running this, we can close them all at once by using the kill all command. And so how to do that is basically type kill all and then the process name, which is Leary Browser. And that's going to kill all of those processes. So that's uh, basically how to uh, manage and monitor processes on a Linux machine. I hope I explained it well. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be discussing services.